Hey guys, I'm over here working on Offroad Blackberry's machine. Um, he put a uh, new fresh set of headlights on it. Haven't already check out that video. Oh, there we go. Like feels front circular minor square. Okay. All right. Hold that. All right. That's him himself holding it. It's me. Um, I don't know if he yet has revealed his name, but... Oh, well, that's CJ, by the way, but... Alright. So, when you wire your headlights, you get your main switch. Um, this kit came with the fuse and a whole bunch of other wires and stuff. Um, we're going to get rid of some of that stuff because it's a lot more, not a car. Um, but we were only going to keep this main piece. So, what I went ahead and did was I cut the... Anyway, it's a little clip to plug it on to the piece of garbage switch that I don't like what they come with. So we're gonna put on the standard toggle. So go ahead and drift it. Let me strip it over. Let's see. That's a little too much, but it'll be fine. So I'm gonna take it. You can find the right one. Jeez. All right. Curl all the way around with it. Hold it and never hurts to put a little bit of black tape on it, but that's alright. That's an end. So, um, then on this end, we're going to have this is going to be your output to the headlights. Now, because they're LEDs, it never hurts to have a fuse, especially with the kind of water and stuff you go through, because um, that will get destroyed. If it's a short, instead of blowing your entire wiring harness or catching on fire, it will just blow up a little fuse. So we're going to go ahead and screw this on here. You see we already have a two, we have three switches on this lawnmower now. Not including the push button switch. That's his little LED light. Let's see. Let's go ahead and pack this on there. Now yes. You're saying why didn't I put the other wire on also? Doesn't matter. Alright, that's good enough for now. I'll tighten it down later. Now this wire here is your main power. So you don't want to run to your starter side so much, but you want to run to your battery side. So what we can do is go ahead and give up 7 16 Now we wouldn't mind disconnect it wouldn't hurt to disconnect the battery at this point. But for testing yeah, purposes sure. only, we're all right. So. Still touch frame or nothing metal. Yeah, we've done that before. Oh yeah. We miswired the cylinder one time and boom. That yeah, was, that was the first time this bike Murray ever yeah, had a good cylinder on it. We had some issues back then, but we grew up. And now we laugh at those days. Yep. So. Yeah. So I have them on old videos. <laughs> old videos, old. One day I might, I might try to put some of my old videos and just see how what the kind of stuff I used to do. All right. So there's our basic wiring. Never hurts to zip tie this. I'm just gonna sit down in there for now, just to speed the video up a little quicker. All right. Now the way these work, as you see, each one you have a black wire on both of them. And you have these white wires. Now the way this is set up, there should also be another one somewhere around here. I don't know where it's at. It, it might be in here. I, I might not be seeing it. Okay. It's right there, dude. Let's see. There it is. That's what I'm looking for. So sorry right, guys. These are your two headlights. You can see up here. It comes pre-connected with these little plug-ins. So you're gonna go ahead and Plug that one in. Now, obviously, we shorten these because it's not a car. Yeah. These are meant to wear on a on a fog lights on a car. You would have them run into the center of the bumper, and then you go from there. So, plug them right there. Okay. It's that easy. And then these would run back. So we're going to do this one right on this side since all the wiring is already on this side of the motor. But that's back. For now, we're going to run them to 
Yeah, we'll go. We'll go ahead and go up underneath it. Right there, you can see it. Just tie that off right there on the gas tank. There's not the hold in there. Now you have your main wire. This is what we need to go ahead and cut down. Now I'm not going to do a very fancy job on this. I could take heat shrink tube and stuff to it, but we're not going to do that. See, it has this little dual connector thing right at the end of it, and you have your two mains plug into that. Not the way I would have done it, but that's the way this company decided to do it. So, actually, we don't need to do that because we need to cut that off anyway. So we can just cut it. I'm going to guesstimate. Cut right there. That's probably going to be too much, but we can trim it there. That's all garbage from there. Now, do remember, guys, measure this stuff. Don't just go by, oh, yeah, it looks good. It never, <laughs> it never hurts to go through. You see, I cut it too much. It's just to speed the video up. Um, I will go back through and clean it up at the end. So you just plug them in. And you plug it into the switch. Plug this in. You gotta strip it. You just wanna cut the wire a little bit more, David? Yeah. Might as well. well you just said my name. Dude. It's fine, dude. I know. Okay, we're good. Alright, let's make sure they work. Hey, you don't have the ground. Oh, I don't have grounds on. You don't have the ground, man. I'm sorry. Sorry guys. <laughs> I gotta think about what I'm doing here. You're getting in a rush. What are you doing? No, I'm getting tired. Oh. Okay. Oh. Alright, now the way these work is it also has one of these. We're not going to do that. We're just going to run two separate because you can see they have these really nice little um, rings on each one. So you can, this gives you two options how you can do it. So for this one. Now make sure you don't want to ground it to your hood because some hoods are plastic. And this one, the way it goes up and down, it could possibly have a ground surge and you do not want that. Because that will blow these lights to pieces. Little waterproof casings that they got. Okay. Now for now, just to make sure everything works. You want to find a spot on your motor or something, you can bolt these on. But now we're just going to touch them against that. Alright, go ahead and... Hang on, but... Alright, go ahead and flip the switch. Or... It don't look that bright, but... What the heck? I think my battery is just low. Yeah, so this battery's Yeah, dead. I'm probably my battery's um, dead. When, when this thing's running, you'll see it. Yeah. It'll be bright. I'll make a video I'm on my channel. Anyway, but, but we're going to go ahead. Um, we're going to tuck these wires. On the side. Here. You want to make sure these wires stay away from heat. The grounds don't really matter as much, but you do want to make sure they stay away. Um, I'm just going to go through this energy cover. I know it gets really hot. You guys might say something about that, but it's okay. Because I've done this before on my other Murray, you've seen that. Um, and we're just going to run it right up here. I've done this a couple times. And that won't go out when the hood's closed. It won't get too near the exhaust. That's the biggest thing we want to stay away from is the exhaust. So let me just go ahead and grab a nut driver. Yeah, you see how the wires expand, so we're just going to zip tie in there. So. Yeah, these ones. All these remember tidy up the wiring. Excuse me. So let's do this. Yeah, there's a little dog crap on the old tire there. We're all good. Yeah, I'll come off later. The dogs. Nah, dogs are little turds. It's alright, they're cool. <laughs> Especially all you dog lovers out there, I'm not a dog hater. I have one too, so. He, he, he has a cool dog. Yeah, he, he jumps out of everyone. Little, little yeah. Alright, now we're going to go on this side. <laughs> This. Now we're going to run this one. Looks like the other one we're only. We're going to tuck it up around here. And right here, you see, I already have his other headlight tied into this. So that's perfect. Just tie right into there. Like I said, make sure it's to the ground. The motor is the best, probably, because you know the motor has ground if your starter works. No. Okay, this might not fit. If it doesn't. We can uh, save that for later. I think it will. Mm. Yep. Well, barely. Look at that. 
Eh, he'll get started on there. It's like an eight millimeter <laughs> going into a five sixteen. <laughs> yep. Doesn't work, but it's working somehow. So we have to thread it up on there. You know, I probably can't see that good, but let's thread it right onto the motor block. Yeah, I'm trying to do these uh, how-to videos um, because I know you guys probably like those because you actually learned something from the video instead of just watching me get covered or cover a lawnmower or something. So, alright. Right about there is where we want it to be, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut the wire right there. So it'll be a little bit more of a tighter system. I don't even have too much wire or tightening. It'll just be naturally set, cut that, or stripped it. Now I got that screw loose. Go around with it. So make sure the wire's not too long that it hits the frame or the other terminal. If it hits the other terminal, it'll just turn on, which will be a little awkward at times. Tighten that screw down. Another one's good. There you go. They are on. Yeah, and they turn on battery. But now he has the dual headlight set up. Yep. So. But. Anyway, that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching.